Welcome back to Reshoot Films, where I teach about cinematography, Unreal Engine, and also do product reviews revolving around these two topics. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do this, but before I show you what I'm going to teach you, this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one yet, make sure to click on the link on the bottom in the description, watch part one, then come back, all right? But this is what we're going to learn today. All right, so I'm gonna add some assets. I wanna add some some guns or some some ammo a little bit, nothing crazy. So that's what I wanna do. So we're gonna grab this FPS, where is it at? I'm gonna show you. I grabbed this from the Quixel Unreal Engine Marketplace. FPS weapon bundle. Very good bundle to get. I suggest you get it. They got some great quality stuff there. And I also grabbed the NATO, this right here, NATO standard bullets. They got some top high quality bullets, all right? So I think it'll be very good to have these if you ever need them. They're great. This was like $5, I mean, you can't beat it. All right, so there we go. I already loaded it, so here we go. And let's hit it. All right. So let's go into this. We're going to go first. I want to go into. Where is it at? Right here, the NATO bullets. Okay. Now, I just downloaded these because I saw them and I liked how they look. So, you know. Should have made them bigger. Hard to see them. There you go. Let me get over here because this is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna start building it around this area. So let's grab some of these. See what they got. Give you an F. You can get a little closer. Okay. Yeah, they look good. Very good quality. Let's bring that down 90 degrees. Let's bring it up. You want to make sure they look right on that ground, because if not, it's going to look whack. Then once you get one that's good, we're going to take that one, all right? And we're going to just duplicate it and move it around. So I'm going to do that right now. And we do this for all of them. We grab different types of them and do it all. I'm gonna do that right now real quick. All right, let's go. I'm going to go into my FPS weapon bundle. And when you want to see only the static mesh that's in your folder, you can click here, status mesh. If you don't see this, um, go up to over here and you can click them right here. See, I want to see my material and static mesh, stuff like that. But anyway, so yeah.
All right, so we got all the things we need in there, right? And you don't have to add those. I'm just adding those for the drama. All right, so then we're gonna grab all of those, all of those. Where are they at? Cases. Pretty much right here. Yeah. No, the cases. Yeah. We're gonna grab those. Yeah, okay, so okay. The case, the cartridges. All of these. All right, we're missing some. We're missing some. We're gonna try and grab just the case, just the cartridges. As much as we can. Just click on some that says and try to grab those. They're all over the place because they're called differently. The shells, they will grab the shells. We want as much of this as we can. Well, not up there though. We don't want the ones in the sink, just on the floor, that's it. Um, might have to skip a few. There goes something right there. That's fine. We're gonna grab those and we're just gonna duplicate them everywhere. You know, turn them around. Right over here. Over there. Just make a mess of it. <laughs> you feel me? That's all we doing. Something like that, all right? It's just a crazy, crazy mess in there. And it just great creates the drama, that's all. You know what I'm saying? That's all it does. You don't have to do it, you know what I'm saying? But I did. And okay, so we got that. We got those on there. Make sure we hit save. All right, now we're almost there, okay? I mean, you could do a lot more to this but i'm gonna let y'all do if you want to add more stalls or other type of lighting or stuff like that or trash and make it look grimy but we okay this is another thing we could do though too in 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 the in here in the surfaces on quixel bridge you got this thing called decals okay let's add some decals so if y'all never did that some of you probably have but maybe some of you haven't so let's go through that all right now decals, you could throw them on the walls, on the floors. Uh, we're gonna grab some for, let's say this one. Say we like this graffiti, all right? We download it and bring it on over. Unclick the status message so you can see it. And then you're gonna bring it to the wall that you want. And that's gonna look weird because it looks stretched out. Then we're gonna make it smaller, all right? All right, now. You want to turn it. Now, I always, I'm a, not like, even lie. Sometimes I forget the right way to turn it. So I just kind of hustle it. But you want to turn it till you see it makes sense. <laughs> and then you want to bring it over. Now, the thing, and I'm going to make it smaller. All right. Now, the thing with these are, when you're dealing with decals, if you see, if you want it to blend in more, you got to bring them back. See? The more you bring them, the lighter it gets, the, the, you feel me? So you want to bring them back a little so they just kind of blend. You feel me? Like they've been there a while. We could do another one. We'll grab this one, does it matter? All right, go to your decal folder, grab that one. Let's throw this one over here. See how it look crazy? Bring it smaller. Turn it around till you see it, 90 degrees. This is, doesn't matter. Let's bring it smaller. And as you see, it can end up going on top of whatever it's next to. See, it can go on there. It can go on the on everything. 
You know, if that's what you want, cool, but you want to blend it to make it look like it's been there. So to push it back and see it starts blending like people tattoo, I mean, graffitied on top of it. But I'm going to make it a little smaller. And as I made it smaller, it went back, so you got to bring it forward. And I'm going to just leave it like that. Or we can make it small. Just bring it forward, so it'll come back. It'll come back into perspective. Or oh, what the hell is it? We must have made it too small. There we go. Bring this up, bring it over. That's fine, doesn't matter. Just wanna show you that you can do those things with decals. They kinda of cool, you can add a lot. You can make the, the floor more grimier. They got leaks, you know what I mean? If you go decals, they got all kind of stuff you could add. Um, if you actually go to the actual decals. You got all this stuff you, you can add to it for decals. You know what I mean? Crazy stuff, like even this. We could throw this, like uh, download this bad boy. And then bring it over. Oh, I didn't download it. There it goes. Now I downloaded it. And um, grab this. Maybe we could throw it on this wall over here. Make it smaller, a little smaller. Let's go to it. Hit F, go to it a little more. And 90 degrees, flip it. Whichever way you wanna flip it. Bring it over. Or you could have put it over there either way. And blend it. Bring it back so it blends. You feel me? Just, just junk like that. If you want to put um, debris, you got debris. You know what I mean? Look at this. You got ash. You got dirt. You got paper. You got all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, um, and you can literally put, look like it got paper on the ground. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just showing you all the little stuff you can do. You know, you put the categories, trash. these things here let's see what this looks like I'm gonna download this just for the hell of it and just for the heck of it and there you go where we at the breeze I'm gonna put this oh you know what I ain't never even used this one before that's crazy that decal that's pretty dope I ain't gonna even front like that joint look pretty good, man. Like we could blend it. Yeah, look at that. You can make it look grimy or just, man. I'm kind of feeling that, I ain't gonna lie. But more just like a grimy look. I mean, you could bring it out and make it look like that, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it as like a grimy look and then I'm gonna, Duplicate it, not that. I want to duplicate the, the the decal. It's hard to pick them once they're there, once you lose them. But you can hit up, hit type decal up here, and then just find it. I want to duplicate it. Remember, usually when you duplicate something, make sure you turn it around or something so it ain't exactly the same. You feel me? I'm gonna just throw it over here. Yeah, I like that. That's that's that that worked. You know, that was nice. So these decals, you can do a whole lot with. Let's get to our um flickering lights. All right, 
and let's save. Hit file, save all. All right, we want to get to doing your own custom flickering lights because sometimes when you got the automated flickering, it doesn't, it do too much. Sometimes it's just too much blinking, you know what I mean, or too much. So I like to create my own sometimes. Now to create your own, you have to create a level sequence, all right? We're almost done. We're basically done. I'm, I'm, I showed you the, what you should know, and then, you know, it's up to you to do what you have to do with these rooms, all right? And what you want to add to them. I'm just showing you what you can do and how to do it, all right? So let's create a level sequence. Go up here, add, add level sequence. I place it usually, you know, it could be there. Hit save, there you go. All right, and we want to hit G so we can see what's going on in here. And we want to hit our rec light. Now you see that square, you can just hit movable, it'll go away. All right, so you grab that rec light and you want to bring it into your sequence, okay? Here we go. And now let's make it long enough, just put a bunch of nines and then so we can extend it. Actually, we didn't need to do that at all. All right, so what you're gonna deal with is intensity right here. Actually, we did, let's bring it over here. You wanna deal with intensity, all right? And you wanna go right here and add a key to the beginning, to the first frame, all right? And then we're going to, if you click and zoom, you can zoom out. And this is what you wanna be, you kinda of wanna be where you're doing it frame per frame, okay? So we're in the beginning. So at the beginning, this light, let's see what we're doing here. See, it's at zero if we put zero. So if we put at 5,000, that's too much. We gotta find out where we were at. We gotta find out where we were at. I forgot where we were at. Cause it had a weird number there. So I'm just recreating the room again. All right. We're going to stick to. We're going to stick to 1.5. All right. That's what we're going to stick to. Yeah. We're going to stick to 1.5. Okay. So this is 1.5 here at this key. Now you want to come over here. All right. And we might go down to, I don't know, 0 0.9. See how it went low a little bit? So you're high, then it goes low. See it? All right. Then you might come over here and go back up to 1.5. 1.5 is going to be your brightest. Then you might come back over here. And go back 0 0.5 so it's even less darker then over here go make sure you gotta click on this 0 0.1 that's almost turning it off but then over here you bring it back up to 1.5 it's all about messing around till you get a sequence you like now let's test it see and it goes fast you know because we gotta remember we, 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 it, it's gonna go fast as heck okay so here we go so we need more, okay? And, or you can just take these, grab them, copy, paste, control, control C, control V, and now you got something going on. You see what I'm saying? And if you want it to stay on longer, this one is the last one. That's at 1.5. So you keep that, you copy that one and paste it over here. And, and so it's gonna stay at 1.5 all this time, all right? Right click, you can do this, okay? So then you can grab, you can grab these. You can go back over here and then go back down to a 0 0.1 and then hit that key. You gotta make sure that key is there. Then go back and go to 1.5. Hit that key. Make sure that key is there. All right. One point. Fine. Oh, it's not doing automatic. 
key on 1.5 just stay at 1.5 for a minute all right we'll drop another key in there and I'll go back down to 0 0.1 and I'll go back to 0.9 you understand what I'm saying? You're just playing with the levels. That's all you're doing till you get something you like. See how that does that? That's what it's doing. Now, if you don't like that, you want you can interrupt it by right here if you want. You can bring this intensity down to like 0 0.2 and it's gonna do something different there, see? Oh, but see right here. You can interrupt it some more. Go right there, go down to 0 0.2. Then go right here, 1.2. Make sure it clicks on the link. Make sure it, it creates the key. Right here, auto key, I believe now. And right here, we get down to 0 0.2. It's just, it's just creating till you get something that you like. See, I don't like I don't like it to be too blinky all the time because it ends up annoying me. So I just need a vibe. So I'm gonna collect all those and copy and then paste. Copy and paste and see if I like the vibe on it. You know what I mean? See, it's, it's, doesn't, it's doing it enough where it gives you that drama. You feel me? I'm cool with that and I'm gonna leave it there. You can play with it as you want if you wanna create it a little better. But I'm gonna keep that, and I'm gonna copy and paste it another again, and that's gonna be cool right there. All right, so we got our flickering light. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you save, save all. All right, we got that. Also, grab your camera, your cinema camera. You know, hit center. You always want to bring your cinema camera. You can make your camera move in here if you want to. I'm not going to get too elaborate with it, but we could do a quick camera movement, okay? All right, so you want to cam you want to go back to the beginning. All right, to the first frame. Now, you want to come down here to transform, and we're going to click these cuz I just do them all. We go to location and we're going to figure out where we at. See, we right here. Okay? Now, he's unfocused. So let's go to our camera menu here, our camera settings, and we're gonna go right here, focus settings, okay? Drop that. It says manual, we want tracking, then drop this one, and we're gonna grab the Doppler and we're gonna touch him, all right? Now he's focused forever. It's the best autofocus system in the world, I guarantee you. All right, so we good. All right, so now it's focusing on him no matter what. Now. We didn't create a large, a big room. So if you want to really create like a real, real pan, depending on the vibe, like you can, we can go and change this instead of a 50 millimeter, we could change it to a 12 millimeter. And then when we, when we go in, you're going to see you got way more to deal with. You feel me? If that's what you want to do. Okay. And you know what? We're going to do that today. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start from here. Set it up, we got the key. Now you go forward and then you just, you go forward. And if you need to, while you go forward, at the end of it, maneuver what you want, all right? If you want it to be there, that's cool. If you want it to rotate a little bit, that's cool. Whatever you wanna do. But you know you know me, I go in the back, in the back here sometimes and I do my famous turn you feel me? And I do stuff like that. Then you go at the end of it, or maybe before the end of it, bring it to zero. So now you got a nice little dynamic intro. You feel me? Just like that. That by itself look crazy. Now, the sauce. Let's add some sauce to it, right? Let's hook it up, all right? We're going to hook up a little sauce. It ain't done yet. All right. We're gonna use this. Remember the exponential height fog? We put it in earlier. All right. We're gonna take that, click on that. All right. 
and go to right here, volumetric fog. All right. Then we're going to go pump this up. Maybe let's go to a five. We don't need five, like a two or one. Maybe a two or 1.5. Look at that. All right. Um, or actually right here, the albedo. You know what I mean? Give it a little so you can go change it up. I'm going to keep it on a greenish vibe. Sort of. You know what I mean? A little creepiness. And now let's go back to our beginning. And look at this. That's hard. That's dope. You know what I mean? And that's with a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeters is gonna make things look way, way big and stretch them out. So you gotta know when to use them, when not to use them, you feel me? Cause as you see, these look stretched. So you gotta know when and when not to use it. I'm just using it as an example for the moment. Um, I would start off the scene like this, but then eventually I would cut to another, you know, angle. But it looks good though, if you wanna just have an opening scene. But you gotta be careful because with wide angles, things distort and look bigger and wider on the sides, especially. So you gotta be careful when you use those. But, you know, that's the look. And you can add more to this. You can add, you know, particles in the air and and f whatever. Like, there's so much more you can add to this. You know, whatever your creativity is for what you want in the room. All right, so I didn't like that. I, I added more to the room, but I didn't like that when it was flickering, when we created our own flicker, yes, that's cool. But the light itself was still solid. And that's kind of whack. So I don't like that. So I'm gonna just go and use an easier thing, a pre-made asset that does it on its own. So if you go to my wrap, the, the, not mine, but the industrial lights package, all right? That I told you about it. Go into blueprints and just grab one of these that, um, Grab one of these, 90 degree. I just don't like it too much sometimes because it's hard to have certain type of controls with these, but it still works. It gets the job done. And um, you get the idea at the end of the day, that's what it's all about anyway. And then make sure down here you hit flicker and then here you could test it, see? And there we go, just that easy, you know? You stop it. Now you won't see it in your playback. If you play back over here at the moment, you won't see it. Not really. Now, if you really want to see it down here, then come over here and hit simulate on the simulation. You still don't see it. You don't really see it when you're playing it. You know, when you're in here doing it and you're checking out your sequence and it's working, but it's there, trust me, all right? Now, when you have this one up here, it's a two-part lighting thing, okay? You got the light itself with the emissive, and then within that light, you have a rec light, which is this one right here, and that's creating a lot of the light for you. All right, that's this light right there, all right? And that's doing a lot of light for you. We just take it out, that'll be that. You know what I mean? But it always comes back. I'll put it to 0 0.1. And we got here. And I'm okay with that. That looks good. Now also when you click on these, Make sure to turn off any physics that you might have. I don't think anything's on. Now these boxes definitely need the physics on. Taking off, I had to take it off this one. Let me see the other one. If you hit simulation, just take it off because last time it gave me an issue. Right here, simulate physics, just take that off. Enable gravity, take that off. I'm gonna go to this one too, do the same. Just in case. All right. All right, everything else looks fine. I just wanted to fix that. It was annoying to me that it wasn't really blinking. So now when I render it out, I know it's how you don't see it. 
really, you know, but it's gonna do it. You know, if you see it doing it here, it's gonna do it, trust me. Um, if you click on the rec light, you know, you can still do all, all your controls like this and all that type of stuff, all right? Even though right now we got it pretty low, so it's not affecting too much at all. So that's about it. I just wanted to add that piece because that was bothering me. So, you know, I didn't want you to be like, yo, the light ain't really flickering. So if you get that pack, you can get them flicker lights like all day long. And it's easier than creating it yourself anyway. You know what I mean? But um, that's what it is. Just wanted, just wanted to add that. All right. All right. So take care. Be blessed. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.